know what they say about you? They say that you're a homeschool junk freak. Uh, it's very easy for me to cry right now because I'm on my period, so stop it. Why are we talking about this? So I guess I'm going to have to play Bob the Builder later. Are you kidding me? I am sore in places I've never been sore before. Okay, everything's gonna be okay. It's not the end of the world. That's it, everybody. That's all you get. If it was up to my boyfriend, I would just be going on our date like this, okay? But I'm a woman. I want everybody to know that he snagged a baddie. Okay, now for those people who don't understand girl eyes, this is what I said. Girl, seriously? We need to start our trial makeup or else we're gonna freak out the day of. Are you crooked? Thank you, Liquid IV, for my coaster for my coffee. No! Oh my gosh! <gasps> no! 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 Not my hourglass concealer breaking. I'm never buying anything super expensive again. No. Oh my gosh. It only took one drop. There you have it, everybody. Don't buy this concealer. Oh well, we must move on. Are you kidding me? That was so rude. So I guess I'm going to have to play Bob the Builder later and freaking try and glue it shut. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. That is so freaking annoying. This is giving me Regina George. Ow! Do you know what they say about you? They say that you're a homeschool junk freak. You guys want to see what the inside looks like? That's it, everybody. That's all you get. She says. Well, hopefully I'll be able to, you know, glue it shut. Anyway, I'm sorry, you guys. Like, that just threw me off. I'm so annoyed. It can be fixed. We'll glue it later. I can't believe I got that on camera, too. So y'all, okay, so first off, if it was up to my boyfriend, I would just be going on our date like this, okay? But I'm a woman. I want everybody to know that he snagged a baddie. And we have to let the girls know that I know how to do my makeup. You know what I mean? So first off, we're gonna be doing our Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze V. It's currently Wednesday and our date, our one year anniversary is on Sunday. I don't know what we're doing yet. That's one of the things that I love about my boyfriend is that he, he's a date planner, girl. He does the darn thing. He says, you wanna go to the movie? I said, yes, I do. He says, okay, we're gonna go see this one at this time on this day. I said, gotcha, babe. <laughs> gotcha. I'll be there. I'll be ready. We just saw Gran Turismo. That literally just came out last week. And then, and you guys, I'm not even kidding. Yesterday, my boyfriend and I, we went to go see another movie. <laughs> We're gonna run out of movies. And we have. I think there was like a period of time where we went like three weeks without seeing a movie because we had seen all the movies that we wanted to see. So my boyfriend and I, we didn't really like the Liam Neeson movie called Redemption. We honestly would rate it a five. Oh my goodness, I didn't even say what kind of look I'm going for. I'm going for kind of like a brown smoky eye moment. Even though my eyes are a little bit round. Sorry guys. <laughs> I was like trying to figure out my cancel tilt. I'm going to be trying to attempt a brown smoky liner look. You know, like that classic, that classic eye look that a lot of girls do. My lips feel so dry. You guys, my ride or die chapstick. Aquaphor. You guys, I think I really need a vanity because if I had a vanity, my hourglass concealer would not have fallen on the floor. I'm being so serious because I'm literally using a cubicle thing as my vanity. If you guys are wondering, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream does smell like roses. So if you don't like the smell of roses, it's not for you, vibe. Okay, here we go with the dreaded hourglass concealer. Oh no. Usually it's really hard to pull out and now it's not. I don't know why I did that. I was supposed to put it up here. So I'm going to try and use the concealer as a primer for the eyeshadow. Okay, now first we're going to take these two shades. We're just gonna do one of those. And should I have said it? I'm just all over the place, you guys. That threw me off. I am so mad at myself that I freaking dropped. Why well, didn't even drop it? It just flipped off. 
I didn't throw it on the floor. I'm so, I'm so upset. Obviously, it's not the end of the world. I have my legs, I have my arms. I have my eyes, I have my mouth, my stomach. Everything's okay. All right, so I'm just taking those two colors that I showed you guys earlier. Back and forth motion, kind of like this. Okay, but if I'm going to be completely honest, you guys, I have been just feeling very off with filming lately. I have, um, okay, well, first off, I'm on my period. So just starting off there and, you know, being on a weight loss journey and having that be my sole focus, like every single waking hour, it's, it's just, you know, it gets a little overwhelming and I feel very emotional and it's very easy for me to cry right now because I'm on my period. So stop it. Why are we talking about this? I'm gonna be taking this color right here. First off, I need to dry my tears. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here. I'm just kind of patting it right here on my lid. Maybe things will seem a lot better if I just stop talking in an accent. Okay, y'all, but to be completely honest, let's talk about the positives, right? So recently I rearranged my room and everything is basically put in its place. I kind of, kind of, I'm really digging this new setup before it was just my blank wall and really I was doing a lot of hiding by filming just my blank wall. Um, and they say that your room is a reflection of your mind and I was very scatterbrained lately. But now we're doing a lot better. I'm actually going to try putting a little bit of tape. I'm going to place it right here. Okay, this is gonna be fierce, I feel it. This might be so wrong, but this is literally how I clean my brushes if I need it fast. So we're gonna take this dark brown, kind of just do one of these. Okay, that's looking kind of fierce. Do people still use the word fierce? Okay, I'm back. You guys, I'm not even kidding. Whenever I film some of these get ready with me's, there's always a part where I have to take a break and like zen out and put on a podcast and figure out like where my life is going. Is this looking a little too much? I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and do the reveal. Oh, that was fast. Okay, let's do this side. You guys, since I'm on my period, I am very clumsy. Not going to lie, this happens to me every single month. It's actually a problem. And I wanna know if anybody else is the same way because my boyfriend knows that once I start getting a little clumsy, like my period is coming. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so there's this community on TikTok that loves to go to Burlington and stuff like that. Like, yes, sign me up. I also enjoy going to Burlington, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I think I need lashes for this look, but I don't have any. Now we're going to contour. We are so unhinged at this point, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this past Monday, my boyfriend and I decided that it would be such a great idea to go and run at the beach. Girl, I was dying. <laughs> it was so freaking hot. I am sore in places I've never been sore before. Have your shins ever been sore before? It is a whole different experience. Now we're gonna take the Hourglass Concealer. Oh my gosh, this is so much concealer. Oh no. I don't have time to cry. I don't have time to panic. I don't have time. We must move on. I, I, this is just, this is me now. It, this is who I am. Can see their face. Well, everything happens for a reason. I still think that this can be solved. It's just disappointing. Everybody comment, rest in peace, hourglass concealer <laughs> and tag hourglass. Oh my God, that'd be hilarious. This turned into a full face of concealer, girl. I am just, every, just, it's just, just concealer. I'm just wearing concealer now. I wasn't planning to do this, but this is what it's, it's turned into. You guys, I just wanted to have a chill, cute, get ready with me, like the fun vibes, like fun dating vibes. And I feel like I ruined it. I ruined it by like ruining my mood. Oh well, maybe me dropping the concealer accidentally turned out to be the best thing that's ever happened to me. You wanna know what's durable as hell? 
rare beauty products these products can be taken to war okay so so far this one is my favorite eye i don't know what's going on over here this one though it's like okay you guys i'm feeling so much better <laughs> the panic has partially subsided i'm putting a little bit of black eyeshadow right here i've never done this before I don't know how I'm going to like it, but you know what? This is a trial. And if you guys are wondering, I am planning on doing another Get Ready With Me for our one year shindig. What did I call it a shindig? If this isn't a sign for me to get a vanity, I don't know what is. The one time where I don't record myself putting on my mascara, it slaps. What I used was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in Waterproof and also the Revlon Big Bad Lash Mascara. This one first and then the Revlon. I feel like this wing is too pointed up and it's too like curved, if that makes sense. This one's more straight and this one's a little curved. Now I'm taking the Milani Dolce Pink Blush. Rare Beauty Liquid Highlight in the shade Transcend. Okay girl, now it's time for the lip combo. I'm going to be trying the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in the shade Iconic Nude and also the YSL Candy Glaze in the shade 15. Okay, so this is Iconic Nude. Now I'm going to be applying the Candy Glaze. Okay, so it took a while, but we got here. I tried a different hairstyle where I like try and slick down these hairs here, but I don't think I like it. No. So y'all, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to comment down below. Rest in peace, Hourglass Concealer at Hourglass. <laughs> So this is the overall look. I think it's giving very much dark feminine energy, but I'm going for like a light feminine energy. So I probably won't do the eyeliner for this Sunday, but who knows, we'll see together when I do another get ready with me. So yeah, I'm definitely probably going to do a completely different look. But thank God I'm doing this trial run right now because, girl, I would have gone out there looking like this. I'm probably also not going to do my hair like this. Again, I also do want to say I'm so, so sorry, guys, if I dampened the mood of this video. Literally at the very beginning when I messed up my hourglass concealer by it falling I'm like re-triggering myself. You guys, this fell one time and it wasn't even, <laughs> you guys, I swear. It fell once. It only took one time for this thing to touch the floor and she obliterated herself. I just realized that I had it on cinematic mode. Okay, but you guys, this is absolutely horrendous. I'm very, very disappointed in the packaging of this thing. Was this top part not glued on properly? I don't know, but this is just very disappointing. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of the moms who have children like the children who knock over makeup and this was not cheap, okay? I did purchase this at Sephora. You can't purchase this at a drugstore, you know what I mean? So I I paid a good amount for this thing and I'm a, I'm a little very, very disappointed. So I am going to try and fix it, but who knows? And my eyes also starting to water and lift up the concealer right here. I typically always have concealer problems right here in this area. So that's just another thing to tackle on to the disappointment list. I did like this lip combo. However, again, I don't think I'm going to be wearing it this Sunday. But nonetheless, everything is going to be okay. We have to think about the positives. You know, we're here, we're breathing, we're thriving. And with that being said, I just want to say that you guys, our community post poll is still up right now. So you guys can still go and vote for the two videos that you guys want to see for this weekend. And read it in below if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. But YouTube is where I'm at, girl. You can always count on me to post new videos absolutely every single Saturday and Sunday. And now I also post a bonus video on Wednesdays. If you don't know, you're watching the bonus video right now. 
I appreciate and adore you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for being here and for hanging out with me and for dealing with my shenanigans, okay? I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye!